They say one man's trash is another person's treasure, but of all things, a retired Air Force veteran has made it his mission to collect cigarette butts. New Jersey reporter Ryan Hughes explains how he is cleaning up the community and raising money along the way. It's a protective vest. For the past two years, Jim Altoro has suited up and hit the streets of South Jersey. The seven-year-old started picking up trash near his neighborhood in Cinnaminson shortly after retiring. I do find a lot of plastic from lids. But says most of the trash he found was cigarette butts. You got this one here. There's one. So he created a challenge for himself and started keeping track of how many butts he could collect in a year. And then I just count one, two, three. In 2023, he set a goal of collecting 15,000 cigarette butts. To achieve that goal, he increased his walks and started finding more. And I said 18,000, 20,000. As it got later in the year, I said, I'll never make 22. I passed that. I said 23 is the real stretch goal. I blew by that. By the end of the year, Jim collected more than 24,000 cigarette butts. And he took it a step further by donating a penny to the American Lung Association for each butt he found. The American Lung Association says cigarette butts are the number one discarded waste item in the world, totaling 1.6 billion pounds of trash each year. And officials say Jim is making a difference. And tobacco contains toxic chemicals that are harmful to the environment. So what he is doing is really helping the environment um, along with bringing awareness. If you want to have a whiff, they really do smell bad. So this year, he created Jim's Cigarette Butt Challenge with the goal of raising $35,000. He's off to a fast start and hoping his effort will encourage people to throw out their trash properly. I think it's a movement that I hope picks up not only in this area but across the country. And inspire more people to quit smoking. In Cinnamonson, Ryan Hughes, CBS News, Philadelphia.